Hey, what's up guys? This is the Tong Man. Here's my Civic and here is my supercharger. Well, this isn't really what I want to show you guys today. What I want to show you guys is this. Um, it's not my supercharger. It belongs to a member of mine. It's a brand new supercharger from Comtech. Um, the only difference between this one and mine is that this one has been ported by Stigmeyer. Here's their logo. They put this, uh, well, their logo on everything that they've done work to. So this one is uh, looking to make more power than mine. Stigmire has also went ahead and grinded down the pulley. This is Vit Viper's 2.95 inch pulley. So what Stigmire has done is uh, they have grinded down the grooves to make it a 2.8 inch pulley and they've also added this coating on here to prevent belt slip so um, it's a smaller pulley that means it's gonna be able to spin the the rotors faster so um, what Stingmeyer does is uh, they disassemble the whole supercharger they take everything apart and um, they port they port the inner part of the manifold to make it larger and they also smooth out the surfaces so that there would there would be less air friction they've also ported this this is the inlet part I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but all this area has been smoothed out. I'm not sure if they ported the opening or not. They like make it bigger, but yeah, the surfaces have been smoothed out. Let me try to raise this up so you guys can see inside. So, so you can see, looks like they have done work made it smoother and made it larger so here's the bypass okay so that's what they have done to the blower they've also did work on the manifold as you can see here they've smoothed out all this all the inner parts, the inner surfaces inside the manifold. Um, they didn't do this part. I don't know why. Maybe it's harder to get to, or I'm just not sure why they didn't do that. But um, this is the material um, from when it was um, stock, completely new from Comtech. Yeah, so um, all this area is uh, smooth. And I believe they have also ported the runners. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if they did or not, or they just smoothed it, smoothed it out. But uh, yeah, less air friction by making the surfaces smooth rather than um, rough like, like this material. So as you can see here, it's... Uh, if air flows through here, there'd be so much more friction than if they were smooth like this. So yeah, here is the manifold. They smooth this out, and they've taken apart the blower and smooth all the inner surfaces, and I believe they enlarged the inlet a little bit. 
don't take my word for it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they've done, but uh, you ship it to them, and uh, they take a week or so to do their job, and uh, send it back to you. But uh, Stigmeyer has been known for doing a great job uh, with our uh, MP62 blowers from Comtech. And I've read a lot of good reviews on their work, but then I've also read some um, not so good reviews with them. So um, we'll see how this goes. This isn't my supercharger, so it's not going to go on, on my car. It's going to go on my uh, one of my members' car. He's uh, building a uh, build, a supercharger build, just like mine, but he's going to have more stuff. Uh, Especially what what's done here, and uh, he's just looking to make over 400 wheel horsepower. So we'll see after uh, everything is said and done. Yeah, so uh, he'll be uh, way faster than than mine, but um, we'll figure it out. See uh, see where he stands and see where I stand between uh, each other. Yeah, but here's my setup pretty happy with this um, if he makes a lot more power if he's a lot more faster than me then uh, I guess next on my to-do list will, will be to get it ported either that or buy MP90 blower and uh, upgrade it yeah so uh, um, I believe the total cost was 800 um, I think it was like 500 to port the blower and the manifold was like 300 so um, it's, uh, it's, it's not cheap plus if um, it's on your car if it's already on your car you're gonna have some downtime because you're gonna have to ship it to them and uh, they're gonna have to do work on it and then ship it back so it's gonna take about two weeks so um, yeah, uh, the next upgrade will be to pour and polish it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated uh, with this build. And um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is uh, Stigmeyer.